Hi everyone, welcome back. In the previous video, we did permutations. Let's do combinations today. What are combinations? Combinations are number of ways in which things can be selected from a collection of objects, irrespective of the order of selection. It's not that all the time we have to choose things from a collection of objects. It could be selection of people from a group of people. How are combinations different from permutations? In permutations, order of selection matters, whereas in combinations, it does not. Permutations and combinations are used in finding probabilities. They are also used in statistics. Let's look at one example. Let's say you visit a restaurant and they hand over a menu to you. In the menu, they have listed four vegetarian dishes, three non-vegetarian dishes and two desserts. And they say, for a fixed price mentioned there, you can select any two vegetarian dishes, one non-vegetarian dish and one dessert. Now think of it. Does it matter how we select or in what order do we select the two vegetarian dishes out of the four? It does not. So. This is an example of combinations. Let's look at the formula for combination. It's denoted by NCR, where it means we are choosing R objects out of N. Or we are selecting R objects out of N. It's given by N factorial upon R factorial N minus R factorial. If you remember, the permutations were given by NPR, which is N factorial upon N minus R factorial. And if in our formula for combinations, we replace N factorial by N minus R factorial by NPR, we'll get NCR is equal to 1 upon R factorial into NPR. Take the R factorial on the left and write NPR as R factorial into NCR, where my R is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to N. Now you see, NPR will be R factorial into NCR. This is the reason people say that number of permutations is always more than the number of combinations. You can see NPR is factorial of R multiplied by NCR. Now, few facts. NC0 is 1 and so is NCN. You can apply the formula and see, you will get this. NCR is also the binomial coefficient NR because you know binomial coefficient is given by N factorial upon R factorial N minus R factorial. So, our NCR is also called the binomial coefficient. Let's come to some examples. I have carefully picked some examples so that all different types of problems which you can come across while studying combinations can be covered. In the first example, we are asked in how many ways three students can be selected from a group of 10 students. Now, this is a direct question. Total number of students given to us is 10, which means that our n value is 10. And you are asked to select 3 students, which means r is nothing but 3. We'll apply the formula ncr is equal to n factorial by r factorial n minus r factorial. Now, which means that our 10 C3 will become 10 factorial divided by 3 factorial 10 minus 3 factorial. Simplify. This is nothing but 10 factorial upon 3 factorial into 7 factorial. You can always write it as 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 factorial. Now, as we had 
7 factorial in the denominator, it is good to open up like this. And when you simplify this, the answer will come out to be 120. So your selection of 3 students out of 10 can be done in 120 ways. So this is the answer. My students always tell me, given a question, they get so confused. Should they use the formula for combinations or use the formula for permutations as the question generally starts with in how many ways? So I tell them, read the question carefully. If the word select or selected appears in your question, then the question can be from combinations. Then See, if the order does not matter, the question is from combinations. Unlike permutations, where the order is fixed, you, if you remember, we did questions on permutation where the question said the letters should not repeat. It means that a letter which has come to a place cannot come again or it cannot appear again. Or the word starts with the letter T or vowels come together. All such cases you will see in permutations. Whereas in combinations, like in this question, you had to select three students. If my students were X, Y, Z and I am selecting, whether I select Y first, Z and then X, does it matter? No. So wherever order does not matter, the problem is from combinations. In the second question, we are given a deck of 52 cards and we are asked, what are the number of ways in which we can select first part? Four cards out of the 52 second. All the four cards are king, third. All four are red cards, fourth. Two are spade and two are club, fifth. All four are face cards, lastly, all four are red or all four are black. Let's do one by one. So in the first part, you see, first of all, our n value is 52, which we'll use for all the parts. Now we have to select four cards. So r is 4. We have to find 52 c4. And this would be nothing but 52 factorial divided by 4 factorial 52 minus 4 factorial. Again here I'll say it would be better if we just open up the factorial. So 52 factorial upon 4 factorial divided by 48 factorial. This we can write as 52 into 51 into 50 into 49 into 48 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 48 factorial. Now these two terms will cancel and we will get on simplifying the answer as 270725 as our number of ways. Come to the second part. In the second part, we have to select four such that all four are king. That can be done in four C four ways and you know that ncn is always one. Come to the third part. Now here you see because we have to select four cards, there are only four kings. So we have to select four cards from four kings. So the answer is 4c4. Come to the third part. All four are red. Now how many red cards are there? Red cards 
in all are 26 and we have to select 4 from that. So the answer will be 26 C4. Now this on using the formula gives us 26 factorial upon 4 factorial 26 minus 4 factorial simplify this would be 26 factorial upon 4 factorial multiplied by 22 factorial open it up we will get 26 into 25 into 24 into 23 into 20 2 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 22 factorial. Now chunk of your values or numbers is gone because we've cancelled 22 factorial and you get the answer as 149 149 Five zero. Come to the fourth part. In the fourth part, you are asked two are spade and two are clubs. Two are spade, two are spade, and two are club. Now, first of all, pay attention to this word and and then how many spade are there there are 13 spade cards so first let's see 13 spade are there and 13 club are there so you are picking two out of 13 spades so it's 13 c2 this is for spade and for club also out of 13 club because there are 13 club cards you are selecting two so this is for club now come to the word and wherever we have and it means we are multiplying so my answer will be 13 c2 into 13 c2 now when you Simplify, you will see the answer. It will be, it is nothing but 2 times 13C2. Simplify this and skipping the calculation part, you will get 6084 as the answer. Come to the fifth part. Now, the fifth part is all are face cards. So, all are face cards. Now, how many face cards do we have? There are 12 face cards. So, from those 12, we have to select 4. Simplify, answer will come out to be 495. So, this is the answer. Let's put the answers in block so that we can easily see. Coming to the last part, the sixth part. Now here it says that our Four cards are all red or all black. Four cards are all red or. Now I am again emphasizing on this or. Or all black. Now whenever we have or, just like a set theory or in computers, where we use AND and OR. Here also OR means PLUS. So, how many red cars are there? There are total 26 
red cards and 26 black. So from 26, if all red have to be uh, picked, 26 C4, but we can also have 4 black. So it means this or. Now this is for or plus sign. This is important. We can have 26 C4. Out of 26 black, we are picking 4 black cards. This is nothing but 2 times 26 C4. Simplify, you will get the answer as to 9900. Come to the third question. In how many ways can we select a team of three girls and two boys out of a pool of six girls and five boys? So now girls and boys both have to be selected. Pay attention to the word and. Wherever and is there, you have to remember and means multiplication or means plus. So for this question, we have out of six girls, six girls. And how many total boys are there? We have five boys, five boys. So total is nothing but 11. So I'll just write here, total 11. Now how many do we have to choose? We have to choose three girls and two boys. Choose three girls and, now see, and two boys. Which means from the six girls, we have to choose three and. So there is a multiplication sign. From the four, five boys, we have to select two boys, so it is 5C2. Just because there was an and, there is a multiplication sign. Simplify this. This would be 6 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 6 minus 3 factorial multiplied by 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial 5 minus 2 factorial. Simplify. The answer will come out to be 200. Come to the next question, question number 4. In how many ways can we select 4 cards from a deck of 52 cards such that there is a king in every combination? Now this is also a nice question. How will we do? See, you are given total cards as 52. Now you have to select four cards in such a way that every combination has a king. So how many kings are there? Kings are four in all. So from four, we have to select one king. Now one king has already been selected from the four. Those four are out from the deck. How many are left in the deck? 48. So from those 48 cards, we have to select the remaining three. On simplifying, this will come out to be 69184. Come to the fifth question. A bag contains two red balls, three green and five blue balls. Find the number of ways of choosing three balls such that there are two parts. First, there is one in each, one of each color and second, at least one is blue. Now, this is also something which is important. So, let us solve. We will come to the first part. Here, we have a bag containing how many balls? Two red, three green and 
5 blue. So total how many? Total we have 10 balls. Now because 2 plus 3 plus 5 is 10. Out of those 10 balls we have to find the number of ways in which we can select 3 balls. So 3 have to be picked such that there is one of each color. Now this means that let's say that we first pick one of red color. So this will be two red from that we pick one red. Now one red is already taken. How many green were there? Three. So from three greens we pick up one green and because there is and we are multiplying and from the five blue we are picking one blue. So now see one red, one green and one blue is what we have selected. From two red, three green and five blue. At the top part, two plus three plus five, you get the total as ten. We had to select three so the suffixes give us one plus one plus one which is three. So this on simplifying you will see will be nothing but use the formula this will come out to be 30. Come to the second part. In the second part we have to find the number of ways in which three balls can be selected such that at least one is blue. So because the word at least is there, it, it means at least means we can have we can have one blue or now I'm using the word or two blue or how many blue were there? Five. But we have to select only three, which means that all three were blue. So one blue, two blue, or three blue. Because maximum we had to pick three. So it means we have first part one blue. From the five blue, I have one blue. Then how about the remaining? Remaining balls left are five. From that five, we have to select two. Or we have two blue, which means that from five, we are selecting two blue. Now we've already selected two, so only one is left. So from the remaining balls, two red and three green, which makes five, we have to select only one because two has already been selected. Two blue have been selected. Then or the third case, from the five blue, all my three balls are there, have been selected. Then what is left? Nothing from the remaining. Now, if you open this up, you will see this will come out to be 5 into 10 plus 10 into 5. Basically, the first two terms are the same, only the order is different. 10 into 1. And you will find the total comes out to be 110. In question number six, we are asked how many words can be formed from the word background with or without meaning such that there are two vowels and two consonants, which means that we are making four letter words. How many letters are there in background? Ten letters, out of which there are three vowels, A, O, U, and remaining seven are consonants. Now, because we are making four letter words, there are in all three vowels. 
from the three vowels we have to select two and from the seven consonants we have to select two so this is the number of ways and just because and is there we are taking the multiplication sign but you are making four letter words out of two vowels and two consonants so there are four places and these would have four factorial arrangements of your own so this is the total number of words which can be formed if you simplify this will come out to be 1 2 0 9 6 to the next question how many chords can be drawn through 19 points on a circle now imagine you have a circle and there are points and we have to join these points they can be joined like this they and what if the points are there like this so how many points are there 19 points now when two points are joined one line is formed or a chord is formed so here for our selection n is nothing but 19 and we have to select two points to join so r is to the total number of chords will be nothing but 19 c2 which will be nothing but 19 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 19 minus 2 factorial simplify this will be 19 factorial upon 2 factorial into 17 factorial this on simplifying gives us the answer as 1 7 1 Let's come to question number 8. In an examination, 9 questions have to be done. There are two parts in the paper, A and B. A has 6 questions and B has 8 questions. The paper requires at least 4 from each part to be done. In how many ways can this be done? Now let us see. We'll start with, let's say that from part A, out of 6, he does 4. Which means that now from part B, which had 8 questions, he can now do 5 because he has to attempt 9 questions. So 4 plus 5 is 9. Or, now or means we take a plus sign. He attempts 5 questions from part A. And remaining 4 he does from part B. Then we have 6C5 into 8C4. Here you see in both the cases total number of questions which he does is 4 plus, 4 plus 5, 9. And 5 plus 4 in this case, 9. And total you see is 6 plus 8 which is 14. So, when we simplify, this will be nothing but 6 factorial upon 4 factorial into 6 minus 4 factorial multiplied by 8 factorial divided by 5 factorial 8 minus 5 factorial plus 6 factorial divided by 5 factorial 6 minus 5 factorial multiplied by 8 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 8 minus 4 factorial. If you simplify, you will get the answer as 1, 2, 6, 0 number of ways in which he can attempt the 9 questions. Come to Question number 9. In question number 9, we are given there are 20 people at a party. They shake hands with each other. 
in how many ways can this happen now two people will be shaking hands so here r n is 20 and r is nothing but 2 so the number of ways they can shake hands is 20 c2 this is nothing but 20 factorial divided by 2 factorial 20 minus 2 factorial if you simplify this will come out to be 190 so in 190 ways people can shake hands with each other let's come to the last question question number 10 we are given four balls one red one green one yellow and one blue in how many ways two balls can be selected such that either one is red or one is blue now we'll do it in two ways first let's do the easy way what if we pick one red ball now once one ball has been selected we can either have green yellow or blue now this gives me the selections as red green red yellow and red blue if not red then or in other words or we pick one blue once one blue has been picked we again have three options either second ball is red or it is green or it is yellow now this gives us the selections as blue red blue green blue yellow we are looking at these branches blue red blue green blue yellow now you see if you write all of them without repetition we have red green red yellow red blue now blue red is repeated so we'll skip blue green blue yellow see in each of them either red is there or blue is there so how many are there five ways we can alternatively solve it using combinations now first let's see the number of ways of selecting two balls out of four is nothing but 4c2 you know that is six second thing the number of ways of selecting two balls such that they are neither red nor blue which means that if red and blue is taken away they are not there then we have only two other colors left green and yellow and from that we have to select it means we are selecting two from two and two c2 is nothing but one so the number of ways of selecting two balls such that one is red or one is blue is nothing but from the total six you have to subtract one where neither red nor blue was there which means six minus one is equal to five ways let me show you one last thing and for that i picked up example four here if you see your total Parts with 52 that is your n value was 52 in your solution 4c1 into 48c3 if i add the top values 4 and 48 what do i get i'll get my total 52 your n and if i add the bottom values 1 and 3 we get 4 the number of cards which we had to select this you will see in all questions this will hold Thank you for watching. Next topic is binomials. For the notes and for solved examples with solutions, you can check my website profprithibajpay.com. Go to courses. Under courses, you'll have to check remedial and you will find the book there.